you, you may be paying more the next time you go to the grocery store. Ty Brennan is live with why the price of produce is on the rise. Ty, I, I can hang out in the produce section all day. Ooh, look at you. You're in the whole wholesale thing. Where are you? Yeah, we are at Willie Ituli. They are one of the biggest distributors here in the valley. They distribute uh, fruits, veggies, you name it, to a lot of our favorite restaurants throughout town. So I'm bringing in Andy here. Andy Ituli, your dad's Willie, the man in Pleasure charge around here. Let's talk about this because when you go to the grocery store, you might have noticed that those prices are starting to tick up on some of our favorite produce items. What's kind of responsible for that? Absolutely. So what we're seeing right now in the United States is what we're going through is called transition. All of the greens and like things like that are grown in Yuma. Arizona and they're going to transition up to California right now which is going to have a small disruption in the supply chain where you can see the prices go up to the end consumer at the grocery store as it kind of happens you'll see maybe prices tick back down I would say that on top of the last year any rising in cost for the farm whether it be gas whether it be labor things like that those are uh, costs that usually get a handed right down to the consumer at the end of the day so that's kind of what we're seeing in pricing right now now you kind of mentioned the gas prices and a lot of folks are obviously uh, you know a little bit more in tune with those because they fluctuate so often, kind of ebbs and flows. Is that going to be kind of the same thing when it comes to fresh produce? Oh, you will see some ebbs and flows. I think it depends on where you are geographically, where you are in the time of the year. For us in Arizona, I think you're going to see a small downtick in pricing during the summer as people are traveling and getting out of the state. But as we get into holidays and at it costs more to do the business at the end of the year, I think you might see some uh, rising prices towards the end of the year. And Andy, what types of items do you think we're going to see kind of, especially right now, if folks are heading to the grocery store, that are going to have those those higher markups than usual. Absolutely. I think you're going to see the big everyday movers, like we like to say here. You're going to see your lettuces, your berries, your black, blue, and raspberries. You're going to also see your avocados, things like that that are really high demand in the market right now. Again, anytime there's a disruption in the supply chain, those are going to be the ones that I think you see the price increase on the most. Let's talk about the company that you kind of have a little offshoot here. Absolutely. And talk about what you guys do. So we also own, I also own Bird Dog Produce, and Bird Dog Produce is a fresh produce home delivery subscription service. We offer over a hundred different items. Everything is purely customizable. We have weekly and bi-weekly uh, pricing, but our goal is to bring the farm to your fridge, what we do there. Um, we deal with the top farms in the United States, and it gives the consumer and the day-to-day -day person an ability to buy the fresh produce that we've had at Ituli for so many years. How difficult is it for you? I mean, you guys have been in the Valley for years and years and years. How difficult is it for you to kind of deal with these fluctuations in price? I mean, obviously you get it for a market price. You have a than the Absolutely. what you sell it for. How difficult is it for you guys to kind of keep up with what's going on? I think that you have to plan your business around these ebbs and flows, so to speak. We're lucky that we've been in the industry long enough to kind of predict when the market is going to move. Produce is incredibly volatile. It is essentially like a stock that's going bad. You harvest the product, it immediately begins to end its shelf life, and therefore it could rise or lower in price. So I think you have to be really smart in your inventory. Don't overbuy. Make sure you're selling what you have in-house and plan that way around the seasons as well. Andy, well, thank you so much. Your wealth of knowledge here. Absolutely. We've been learning a lot. For more information, is, do you have a website for we Bird Dog? We do. BirdDogProduce.com. Come check us out. We're local. We would love to do business with you guys. Come on and see us. And you said you have the organic, the original, the you name it. We do. We have organic. We have conventional produce. Over 100 items. Our big thing is that it's fully customizable. We want an experience that's very similar to the grocery store. If you want berries this week and apples next week, it's yours. And it's right to your door. Absolutely. Which I love the best because I uh, have really found that I like that delivery. Not leaving my house. There you go. It's I'm safe and easy. Yeah, I only leave to go to work. Only leave when I have to get paid. <laughs>